Hey y'all, let's check out Bali Paradise. All you gotta do is say hey y'all so today we're gonna be looking around bali paradise this is my outfit for today nothing special at all it is definitely giving tourists for the drink i just have a little coconut drink with my shade so i could go ahead and make sure that i stay hydrated if you guys are new here welcome it's definitely a vibe on this side i'm shy in second life and we check out aesthetically pleasing places in the virtual world of second life and i also sporadically do lifestyle vlogs if you guys are interested in content like this go ahead and subscribe so when you first drop down on this land it is beautiful i love all of the plants all of the pretty statues that they have as well the water is magnificent so super crystal clear i am in um the shared environment i really really love how they've done the entrance with just the all of the little decorations i love these as this like cane or bamboo i love that with the little with the statues and things like that and the little lanterns and that design is mirrored on this side as well so let's go ahead and go in this is not a large um um place but as we know the smaller places do tend to be jam-packed with things so when you first come in it looks so nice let me back it up a little bit look how pretty this looks super duper nice i really like that so i'm very interested in what all um this place has to offer um just off the bat um they definitely seem to be on theme with everything it seems very consistent i love a good consistency with the land it keeps me um into the role play better because it's like okay I, I feel like if i was in bali this is what it would be like i've never been to bali but what i have noticed about the people who um when they do themed lands who just not walk around i don't know i don't have a specific path they do tend to um mimic the spaces or like the things that you would actually find in these locations uh, in these locations pretty well i don't know why i can't speak today so although I've never been to Bali before, um, a lot of times, if I was to like look at a video, they will have some of these details um, in the actual location. So I do like that they don't go off too much on like they don't go off on a tangent. They kind of really stick to what you or some of the things that you would actually see in Bali. I love these little treats at this like looks like cantaloupe. Yeah, cantaloupe so nice with the pretty little flowers so it's so colorful here and i really really like this i love all of the different colors oh wait do i want to go down here yet no i want to go over here so they have a lot of different paths that you can take and i do like that lots of beautiful picture opportunities they have so many different flowers here i really do like that i love all of the statues they're so beautiful and specific to the place. Oh, I didn't look at this over here. So I was excited when I found this place. This was another one that was just kind of sitting in my um, landmarks. I've gone through quite a bit because a lot of the places have actually gone away, you guys. You know, it's very... Get it while the getting is good. I've talked, with the, I've talked about that before, but you know sometimes I, I don't take my own advice and I, I can say that so lots of really cute sit-in spaces um we're not gonna sit on anything but um what i do know about second life is the majority of things this is a beautiful fan the majority of things in second life are um for couples as well as singles so definitely make sure that you check this out either by yourself or with a friend you know it's gonna be nice it's a really nice space to walk around i love more seating areas over here i love how they have this kind of like secluded in the middle um, of everything so they have this cute little swing or you can sit on the ground i love these little statues holding the palm fans okay it's a it's a little risque i think this is a moderate land but again and um, I'm finding that a lot of these moderate lands, although, you know, kids can come because it's a moderate land, it's very adult based. And so this has a very romantic, like, 
sexy vibe to it if you will you know kind of a little too risque for a first date but you know this is a second night so you can do what you want to do the little chocolate covered strawberries they look so yummy and so sweet i really really like it they have like this little fruit platter over here i love it so last week i was a little off with my timing as far as when i um recorded so now i'm getting back on my regular schedule which is mondays and thursdays so this video uh, it's sunday so it'll be up on monday more beautiful statues they're so pretty i love all the details in them so nice i love i love 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 the statues i love these little waterfalls that they have on the side they're so simple but they add so much to um the space i love how everything is very nature based um so even the sitting areas are nature based are nature based so like they'll have um cushions but then they'll be on like wooden slats and things like that was that a little birdie you know we we love the animals in real life and second life oh wait a minute it got a, it's a name on it. it got a name on it let's see what the name is let's check out the little birdie i love the sounds here they're not um overbearing sometimes you'll go to land and when it's um nature themed the 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 sounds are like they're very they're aggressive you know so i really like that these are very subtle sounds i want to see if that place had a that space had a name on it um so i really do like that i like that the sounds are not like too overbearing so like they have a nice little sitting space over here this looks like they have microphones over here so i guess like if they did like a live concert or something like that then they would sit here and then everybody else can kind of just like be sitting in the other little spaces or standing around and it's a beautiful backdrop this is a beautiful serving dish is this like a serving dish i don't know what this is but it's beautiful it's beautiful i kind of felt like it was a serving dish but then the things are raised on there so i don't know they don't have anything on it so it might just be something beautiful to look at i love all of the pottery so they have a little strawberry plant how cute is this i like it so they have all of this beautiful pottery these are definitely things that i would expect to see like in bali i know they have some beautiful pottery i do have quite a bit of um quite a, a few stones and salt rocks that are from bali or indonesia um they said that they're made in um indonesia this is a beautiful split leaf uh, philodendron beautiful 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 so my plants are not doing so well so i know i'm gonna have to kind of just like start over i do believe that your plants are very symbolic of you and what you're going through when i started going through things my plants it's almost like they felt the energy and they just like immediately started not doing well so kind of bummed about that but i can always you know fix it and make it better so that's definitely something that is on my list of things to do so transparent moment you guys i posted a video it was a part two to my um the japanese themed land that i just visited this last video it is not doing too well i am not sure if i'm going to take it down and repost it on a different time um fridays they are not what's popping apparently um with um the videos that i post so i part of me is like maybe just leave it alone and just let it be but then another part of me is like just take it down and post it on a better date so you can kind of get a little bit better traction to it but i don't know i don't know i i might just leave it be i might just leave it be so i love the beautiful little lily pads i love how they have so many different seating spaces but if you're like walking too fast you're gonna miss them so they're very like ducked off oh look at this i love it they just chilling oh how cute 
So a lot of the little seated areas are just kind of ducked off. So you kind of got to look for them. But I do like that because it's like if there are a lot of different people here. So like if there are a lot of couples here. They can all have like their own separate space. And they don't have to worry about like people being in their face. Or them seeing other people when they really just want to be able to take a picture. Like in this space on their own. It's kind of like they positioned everything so that people can take the pictures that they want to take and they don't have to worry about people being in the background of their pictures and that was very very smart this is so pretty this would be a really nice picture like if somebody like visited um bali and then they wanted to just come and like take some really cool cute pictures because look at this background look at the water in the back with the waves what tell me that's not beautiful you can't even tell me that i love these torches i love all the water you guys know i love water i love the linden water it is always the linden water oop almost fell the linden water has always been beautiful in second life and it just really still is you guys so what's so funny is i did the videos um at, on the Japanese land in um, Black Dragon. But what's so crazy is, oh, they have like a little zip line, okay? What's so crazy is, I am so like loving the new Firestorm update. I really feel like they kinda, they, they're kinda beating Black Dragon out. I never thought that that would be something that I would say but the firestorm viewer people said yeah no i'm tired of y'all talking about us i don't know if they've done any updates to kind of make things a little bit better um for people i was crashing quite a bit um around the time when i was doing the look how nice this looks beautiful more beautiful statues um I was crashing quite a bit when it was time for me to do the um the last video so i did go to black dragon luckily it worked out but when i come to firestorm now it is such a treat it is such a treat look how pretty this is the landscaping here is marvelous it's so pretty it makes you feel like you're just in a really nice warm climate and everything is just like i can feel the warm wind just rubbing up against or just going up against my arm it's just like you can smell you know it's hot outside you can like smell the heat it's like that but then they have like incense going so it's just like beautiful scents beautiful sounds beautiful warm winds just brushing up against um, my arms and my legs just it really puts you in the mood and I feel like that is why it's so important to have look at these very yummy looking chocolate treats that is why I really believe that it is so important to have lands that are cohesive because it keeps you in the mind frame of where they're trying to transport you to. So right now I'm, I'm being transported into a beautiful Bali tropical paradise and that is exactly what I feel like I am in more beautiful sitting spaces I'm loving all of the artwork I love the flowers things that are just so simple but because of the space it just makes it feel so elegant so much more spectacular than if it was just like a standalone piece and I really do like that so this is a really nice like little hangout spot. It seems like beautiful pictures. Love it. Beautiful. Beautiful. Everyone is so beautiful in all of these pictures. I love the head pieces. Oh, how nice is that? I love this. I love the deep reds. I do, I really do like that also they have a cute little pbr mirror look at this draping pbr is when i tell you i did not expect this to ever be a thing i always used to be like i wonder if they're ever going to like make it where you can like stand in the mirror and see your reflection because when people do um like pictures and you can see their reflections they they go through a lot to do that before PBR. And so now I kind of feel like that's going to be so much easier for people to do. I love these like thrones. Look at this artwork. 
She's beautiful. Look at how beautiful she is, y'all. Oh, I love this. I love this. I love all of this artwork. It's so beautiful. Oop, look, you know, I love a money table. Are these offerings? Oh, I don't know, I, but I love a money table. Look how pretty those flowers are. I love spaces like this. I really, really do. And you see, it is a smaller, the, the land is smaller, but I don't know, y'all. I'm, I'm becoming a fan of the smaller lands. I'm, I'm just going to say that. I'm, I'm becoming a fan of the smaller lands. I used to think that I wasn't going to be able to get a good quality um, video out to you guys when the lands were smaller. So a lot of times I would just kind of overlook them, but not anymore not anymore so we were up there already i just wanted to kind of see what was over here another little dipped off um seating space with the cutest bunny is the bunny gonna be still for us to see oh the cutest bunny ever so adorable so this is all so very beautiful look at this pretty waterfall Everything is just so nice and just nature based and it's magnificent. So I promise I'm not trying to make a habit of this, but this is running long. So make sure you guys like, comment and subscribe and stay tuned for part two.